Hi everyone. Welcome to the video lesson course Introduction to MATLAB Software. This is our sixth video lesson. This video lesson teaches how to solve simultaneous differential equations using numerical techniques in MATLAB software. So far we have discussed how to solve an ordinary differential equation in MATLAB. It's important to know solving simultaneous differential equations because we usually meet such mathematical system in chemical engineering applications. Let's take an example to learn this. In a certain chemical reaction, substances A and B produce a third chemical substance C. You can see the reaction on the screen now. Capital A component reacts with capital B component and the product is capital C. The rate of formation of C is proportional to the amounts of A and B. So that is the forward reaction and the decomposition of C is proportional to amount of C present in the reactor. So that is the backward reaction. The mathematical model for the above mentioned reaction is as follows. We can write three differential equations for this system. Rate of concentration of component A dA over dt is equal to K2 concentration of C minus K1 multiplication of concentration A and B. Similarly, we can write the other two differential equations. So, these differential equations have been modeled using the chemical reaction rate laws. But let's take the rate constants K2 is equal to 0 0.1 and K1 is equal to 0 0.001. The initial conditions are the concentration of product C is 0 and the concentration of reactant A is 100 and reactant B is 200. So let's use MATLAB software to get values for concentration of A, B and C after 10 seconds of the reaction. We can see that there are three simultaneous ordinary differential equations for this problem and three initial conditions for the variables are given. We can use the similar procedure to this problem that we followed to solve one ordinary differential equation in our last video lesson. Okay, so as usual, the first thing is creating a function. So let's open a new function script file and enter the function there. So we type function f is equal to, let's name our function name as simultaneous differential. So I abbreviate it as simaldiff. And the input variables are T and Y. T for time and Y for concentration. Then we type the available constants and input values. So we have two constant values. K1 is equal to 0 0.001 and K2 is equal to 0 0.1. Then let's specify the three differential equations in function mode f11 is equal to k2 y of 3 minus k1 y of 1 and y of 2. Note that we can mark y1, y2 and y3 by taking the variable y as a matrix 
and the three rows of the matrix are corresponding to our three variables so y of 1 means a y of 2 means b and y of 3 means c in our differential equations So similarly we can write the function and let's end the function and after that let's save the script file in the same function name. Then we go to the command window and specify the range for time. Let's take the range of time is from 0 to 10 seconds. And the initial values of the variable A, B and C, let's make it in matrix form. So let's enter it as C in is equal to 100 to 100 and 0. So now we have the final step to call the solver of the function. So let's use ODE45 solver for this. So we can type the input variable T and output variable Y is equal to ODE45 function name range of input variable and the initial conditions. So here we got the result in matrix form and we can create a graph for the variation of our three variables so we can use the plot command for that so plot ty and we obtain the graph with different colors for the three variables and we can observe that a and b the reactants are reducing and the product c is increasing and become to equilibrium after some time that's the behavior of this reversible reaction. So final thing we can label the plot by using y label and x label commands. So let's type y label. Let's name the axis as component amount in mole per cubic decimeter and the x axis as time in seconds. So that's all for this problem. In this video lesson, we discussed how to use the knowledge of solving ordinary differential equations in order to solve a set of simultaneous ordinary differential equations in MATLAB software. We took an example of a reversible chemical reaction and learned the computational method that can be applied for similar problems. 
In the next video lesson, let's discuss how to perform Laplace transforms in MATLAB software. So until we meet with our next lesson, have a nice day and goodbye.